Hi guys, we have another video here, and this is a video for everyone, you know, including parents, yourself, grandparents, whoever's helping you at home, because we're going to be starting multiplication, and this is one digit by two to four digits. Maybe we'll get to five, but for right now, we're only going to go to two to four, but it's not the normal way and the traditional way to multiply. We are multiplying by the place values and knowing the place values and getting more number sense. So this is kind of a video for everyone. All right, so let's just get going here. All right, so what we need to know is the expanded form. Okay, 40 is the same as 40 plus 5. Or 467 is the same as 467. The 4 is worth 400. The 6 is worth seven, 60 and the 7 is worth 7. All right, and then also the place value, the value of each number. It's the same thing I set up here. Um, 400, 50, and that's 6. So the 4 represents 400, the 5 represents 50, and the 6 represents the 6. All right, the place value. So you'll need to know that in order to multiply here. Okay? Now, this is the first one. And the first thing I want to say, yes, the traditional way might be a faster way um, right now, but when we get up to the uh, bigger numbers, the two digit by two digit, the three digit by three digit, this way is going to be simpler because um, it's going to be, it's going to not necessarily faster, but we will get the right answer more times because there's less steps. All right, so let's just go here. All right, and I want to go. Let's go 87 times 6. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I have to take, instead of just going 7 times 6 and 8 times 6, which we could do, all right, I'm going to make a little box here. All right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have the 6 here over here, and then that 87 represents 80, and then 7. All right. In this box, Going back to our multiplication by the um, multiples of 10 with the 0, I know 8 times 6 is 48, and I have to add my 0, and then seven, 6 times 7 is 42, all right? So I'd go home, I go down here, and I just add them up, 480 plus 42. 0 plus 2 is 2, 8 plus 4 is 12, 1 plus 5 is 5, 1 plus 4 is 5. So 87 times 6, or 87 groups of 6, all right, I have 522 as my answer. All right, I take this, the bigger number, and I um, break it up into the expanded form. All right, all right, let's go to the next one. All right, number two, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and go 37 times seven, all right? Now that's 37 groups of seven, or I could go um, add 37 seven times, all right? But I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna do um, the box method, all right? I'm gonna take the seven over here, I'm going to take my 37, I'm going to split it up into 30 plus 7, all right? I know, and to get into this box, I do 30 times, or 30 times 7, which that becomes 20, uh, 21, add my 0, and then 7 times 7 is 49, all right? Then I come down here and just add those two up, and I come with, 259 as my answer. All right, I take this number to break it up. I don't have to break my seven up because it's just a single digit. All right, eventually if this is two digit, I could break it up. But here, I'm gonna break it up and um, multiply it that way. Multiply it in steps and then I can just add all my steps here. All right, because really I'm going seven times seven and then 30 times seven adding those up. All right, my next one, 82 times four, all right? 
I could add up to 82 four times. But I'm going to go ahead and just use my box method. All right. I'm going to break up. I got my 4 here. I'm going to break up my 80. 82 into 80 plus 2. 80 times 4. Well, I know 8 times 4 is 32. I bring my down my 0. And then I got my... Um, 4 times 2 is 8, and then I'm just going to add that up. Well, if 320 plus 8, that's got to be 328, and that is my answer. All right, so it's pretty simple, but um, it's not the traditional way that I was taught. All right, we're really looking for knowing the place values of each number. All right, breaking a part of that, breaking a part of that number for a um, more a better number sense okay all right number four I'm gonna you know I'm, I'm gonna go crazy all right and I'm gonna go 327 times 4 all right now I'm gonna break my number up okay I'm gonna use the box method again all right I'm gonna go 300 plus 20 plus 7 all right now uh, this is times 4, right? So here I go 300 times 4, that goes in that box. 20 times 4 goes in this box. And 7 times 4 goes in that last box. All right, 300 times, 3 times 4 is 12, add my two zeros. 20 times 4, well, 2 times 4 is 8, add my zero. 4 times 7 is 28. Okay, line all that up. Plus 80, plus 28. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, this is plus 28. All right. And then I have 8. I have 10. Carry my 1. That's 3. So my answer would have been uh, 1,308. All right. Number 5. I'm going to do another 3-digit 1. All right. So 507 or 572 times let's go 6. All right. Break that number 572 up. Go 500 plus 70 plus 2. All right. Make my box. I can do this, do that, and then I have my 6 here. I could go 6 times 5 is 30. Add my two zeros. All right, 6 times 7 is 42. Add my 0, and then 6 times 2 is 12. Add these up. So 3,000 plus 420 plus 12. That's 2, that's 3, that's 4, and that's 3. So if my answer, if I do 572 times 6... The answer, the product, I'm sorry, is 3,432. All right, I'm breaking up that number. I'm going 2 times 6, 70 times 6, 500 times 6. All right. All right, so here is the last one that I want you to try to do, and then this is the one you're going to hand in. All right. I'm just going to do a simple one, and this is going to be a um, just a two-digit by one digit, and I want to see your work using the bo box method. All right, so I'm going to go 87 times, let's go 5. All right, this is the one you hand in. All right, you're going to um, do your work and hand this one in. All right, so record this one. Um, show me work. Make sure you show me your work. All right, I want to show I want you to show me work. Very important. All right. See ya.